Hey everybody. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on the power clean. My videos on exercise are not real popular, but uh, my son, Alex, is into this. He has a friend called David Bailey that's into this. I gave David Bailey my phone number and he never called me. So I took him off my friends list off Facebook. So Twitter's next. When I give somebody a phone number, I expect them to call me after three days. They don't call me. I'm angry. Not real angry, but I'm angry. That's how I roll. So anyway, the power clean. The power clean is the greatest lift there is, period. I'm not going to say that uh, for no reason. I say it for a very important reason. First, it is practiced by high school footballers all over the country. And I don't know about high school basketball, but it is a very important lift. It simulates a jump. It simulates um, almost all athletic moves. Now, where the squat clean or the Olympic clean is the only lift where the weight where the weight is pulled and then you have to you have to go in one direction and then switch directions and catch the bar that's not useful for football they don't need to do all that fancy crap that they do in the olympics you know i mean because a, a little girl can lift a lot more weight in there because she doesn't have to pull the bar up high when you do a power clean, the bar has to travel, so therefore you need more foot pounds of force to be able to do that. So the power clean is about foot pounds of force. That's what it's about, delivering up as much power and force to the bar at a waist high position, which is done with a triple extension. The extension of the knee, the extension of the hip, and the extension of the shoulder. And David Jack at menshealth.com explains it in some of his videos. I think that's how you say his name. He's a real not tall, good looking guy. Um, he's doing that um, Spartan workout. So anyway, the reason the first, so for number one, it's practiced by almost all athletes and all athletes know about the power clean. It helps your jumping ability, period. Number two, I don't think the, th I think the reason that the power clean is practiced and not a high pull, okay, because a high pull is just as useful, is 95% effective as a power clean. But the reason the high pull isn't practiced, because to get underneath the bar for a bar that weighs 200 pounds, okay, that's traveling, I don't know, let's say 15 miles an hour, you have to get underneath it. And sooner or later, it's going to be traveling at zero, and it's going to be traveling 33 feet per second per second the other direction. So it's a little scary to be able to get under that bar, and that's exactly my point. Uh, it's scary. You know, people can deadlift more, but you can drop a deadlift any time you want to and get out of the lift, and it's, there's really no sanction from it. They may yell at you at the gym, don't be loud, but you can say, I'm sorry, I lifted too much, I had to drop it, I didn't want to hurt myself. Okay, and you can get by with it once. With the squat, once you get that bar there, if you don't have a spotter, then you are responsible for that bar. There's pressure. When that bar is up in the air, when it's five feet off the ground, you got to get underneath it. That's pressure. And that's the second reason why I like the power clean. It, it gives discipline. But the most important reason that I like them is that they're fun as hell. You know, it's fun just to throw that bar up and catch it. I like to do the high-low, where I start from a squat clean, where I jump underneath the bar, and then I power clean it. Or I'll power clean it real hard, and then I'll jump underneath it. I mean, one was the low-high, the other one was the high-low. You can do three different ones. You can do a, a full clean, then you can do a squat clean, and then you can do a power clean. Or any other, any way. You can fool around with it. It's just a lot of fun. And that's what life's about. It's about fun. Fun. F-U-N. Bye.